Hello, and welcome to Promise Gaming and Steam to the series where I find the games by Steam library, blah, blah, blah. Wow, this kind of just shot me right into things. So, what are we playing today? Well, um, today I am going off of a uh, suggestion from a viewer that I play a clicker game and give my opinion of it, or just kind of get my impressions on it, because I've never played a clicker before. Now, the specific request was that I play a game called Sakura Clicker, which was recently released on Steam. If you don't know what that is, it's a clicker game where, for God knows why, you are repeatedly clicking on scantily clad, large-breasted anime women. Now, I, I kind of figure, though, that my fiancé would probably be really mad at me if I play a game like that, so instead we have this. Clicker Heroes. Never played a clicker. Concept never really interested me before, but you know what? Why not? Thing is, I loaded the game and immediately you pop into this. There's no real menu screen, there's nothing. It just asks, hey, do you want it full screen or not? Okay, I guess we're flying right into it. There's no instructions whatsoever as to how to play this game. I guess I'm just clicking on forest? Oh. No, really, I... That's it. I literally just walk... I just literally start clicking on something. Oh no, a tarantula, a mushroom bloop, a spit flower! Ooh, and a treasure chest. I'll, oh, it's it's a, it's a fake treasure chest. It's one of them things from Neverwinter. From Dungeons and Dragons. Horrible. Oh, and now I can level you up because apparently I've been earning gold and that's all it takes. Hey, level two. Okay. Oh, good. Now I do three click damage instead of just two. What the heck is that? Catra? Oh my gosh, you sure I'm not playing Sakura Clicker? Oh, I have to hover my mouse over the thing to gather the gold. Okay. Well, now I know that. Level up. Hey, I'm level three. What a what a thought. Flower bloops? Oh man, well these things aren't doing nothing to nobody. Why am I killing them? They just seem to be minding their own business. It's like I don't even care. Double level up! Let's move on to the next area. Entering forest level two. Oh no, it's got 26 HP. I shall solve this by clicking on it repeatedly. Oh, area completed, you say? I beg to differ. More spit flowers and tarantulas are flying out of the sky. Clearly my work is not done. I must purge the forest. Oh, definitely get rid of the catcher. That thing is a succubus. It's a demon right there. Level up, level up. Let's move on to level three. Oh no, 46 HP, but I can do eight damage per click. Look, I don't even have to watch what I'm doing. I can just stare at the camera and keep clicking. And I win. Probably should scroll around a little bit to gather gold, and then there we go. Oh no, another flower bloop. I didn't even know what I was doing, but he's dead now. So let me see if I understand this correctly, right? So you click on these things to kill them, so you can gather gold and go to the next area, so that you can level up and not have to click as much because your clicks are more effective each time. So really, the goal of the clicker is to click so that you don't have to click anymore. Or at least less. Am I reading that correctly? You know what's a better solution? Don't play the freaking game, Sasquish! Oh my gosh, they look so shocked as you murder them. It's like, why? What did we ever do to you? Why are you clicking on us? Why are you abusing us? We just existed. We didn't mean to just plop out of the sky. And now you're murdering every one of us and all of our friends. Yeah, I don't understand it either. I just sort of got dropped into this. I was dropped into it much like you were, Finky. And for whatever reason, I feel compelled to click on you and murder you. Oh, achievement get. I'm a killer. Apparently I'm a killer. I feel great about my life choices right now. Oh, Mama Fernie, Fat Bats, level five, only have 25 seconds. I guess I better click repeatedly. Can you hear this thing? Yeah, I'll just click repeatedly. Yeah. Oh, area completed. Oh, there's more of them. There's so many of them now. I guess I should probably click as fast as I can. Ah, my fingers cramping up a little bit. What's the point of this? I, I need to level up. I leveled up multiple times. There, now I do 17 damage per click, so I don't have to click as much in order to accomplish the exact same thing that could have been accomplished by not playing this game at all. Brilliant idea. Whose idea was this? Can someone please explain to me exactly what it is I'm playing here and why this even exists in the video gaming industry anymore? I mean, what is this a thing? How does this even qualify as a game? 
It's not a game. This is just a recipe for carpal tunnel. You know what a game has to have? A game has to have a failure state. That's like a requirement in order to be defined as a game. As far as I'm aware, this doesn't even have a failure state. Unless you're fighting a boss and you got a certain amount of time to complete it. That's it. There is no failure state. This, by definition, this is not a game. This is the sort of thing you give to a, a three-year-old with ADHD and just shut them up on the iPad for five hours. I figured it out. You didn't actually want me to play a clicker. You didn't think a clicker would actually be any good on this channel. You just wanted me to play Sakura Clicker so I would put hentai on my channel. Shame on you. You know who you are. You know who you are. Oh no, we found another boss. It's an Emperor Scorpinch. I guess I better click repeatedly. I guess I better click repeatedly. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! I can also buy things so that it automatically clicks for me 10 clicks per second for 30 seconds. I can have buttons that let the computer click for me so I don't have to click. Once again, I come back to the conclusion that the entire point of a clicker is so that you click so that you don't have to click anymore. Are we imprisoned by the game?! Does this game ever end? Does it ever get a story? Is there ever any point to the game besides exhausting your poor fingers? Is there a point? Do people even get a sense of achievement from a game like this? Do they? Because I don't understand how you could. What is there to achieve? Literally, there is nothing to achieve. You are doing the same thing repeatedly over and over again every once in a while leveling up so you don't have to click quite so much. That's it. That is your entire sense of achievement. Oh, great. Entering desert level 12. I don't want to play this anymore! What a pointless piece of crap! Who plays games like this? Why? What does this say about the video gaming industry that this even exists? I don't get it at all. Oh, look at that! You can hire other adventurers to come and do some of the work for you, too! Look at that, I'm doing damage without even clicking! Technically, I could just walk away, and until I get to a boss, the same thing would happen! Except I'd be a little bit happier, because I'm not playing this game anymore. I don't want to play it. Okay, you... You know what? Done. Done? Don't want to play anymore. I'm out. Stupid excuse of a game.